Well, I'm so honored to have my special guest today, which would be Jessica and her mom, Amanda. But Jessica's the star of the show today. So Jessica's a type three little baby, and she's three months old, right? Yep. And she is true to her nature from um, the go, I would expect. Yep. How, did you know her type before she was born? Yeah, I knew that she was three, maybe a type one, but I was very, pretty much leaning towards a type three, probably when I was around three and a half months pregnant. What were you starting to notice? Um, I noticed that she would react to things outside of me more than my other children did, and she moved her movement a lot, and it was very... Um, more jabbing feeling, more like punch, punch and yeah, punch. jabbing yeah. where some of my other children were more flowing or had so a purposeful move. You have, you've known how many of your kids, you've three of your five children, you've known energy profiling. Yeah. Were you correct with each of the three that you knew the system? Um, yeah. You know, cause I was thinking, well, maybe they're th uh, this or this, like with my first one, I thought a four or a two. Okay. So that you right away put it into higher or lower. So yeah. you said, this is a little girl or boy? Yeah, a little girl. Little girl's a lower movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's then a what lower did, movement. What? She was a type four. And she what did you notice four. with her pregnancy? Um, it was perfect. Like I wasn't as sick with her. It, um, I got better faster cause I only, I was only sick for about six, seven months with her and my delivery went perfect. And it so was- just the energy presented yes, to- Yes, it was just perfectness, like a perfect energy feeling in mm -hmm. there. And I could also feel what she wanted, like who she wanted there, what, how she wanted it to go that- She's she being had, her own authority free. from the womb. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like anytime I would consider having a certain person there or or not having somebody there, it was like, no, I want this grandma there. I don't want that grandma here. And <laughs> and great. it was like, okay, but it was no reason why. It was just, this is just what I prefer. Okay. And, and um, what was your other the other child that you knew? He's a four. And I was just pretty sure he was a four. There was, I didn't consider any other yeah. type. I just knew that he was a four. And as soon as he was born, we we're correct that he was a four. And he's the little guy that you shared with me. He likes to wear ties. He's how old now? He's four and a half. Four and a half, and he likes ties. Yes. And he, even if he has a t-shirt on, yeah. he'll throw a tie on? Yep, today he's wearing a thermal, a white thermal shirt, and then he has a tie on. And you said he prefers dress slacks and dress shoes? Yes. Or his, his like- His gym shorts. Gym shorts. Yeah. But if he's in pants, he's in a pair of dress pants. Yes, uh-huh. So this young man re prefers the finer things of life, even yes. at four and a half. Yep. And, <laughs> and he wears hats. He has, and he likes hats too. Is he particular about his hair? Yes. Yes. Very particular type about four, his hair. Type four, especially little boys um, have that tendency very early that they're very particular about their hair. Yes. He likes it to be pulled together and slicked up where it comes up yeah. in the front. And he'll... If I don't fix it, if I try to fix it any other way, he grabs it and yeah. pulls it. Yeah, oh, they have one way they want it. Yes. He only has Until the they one. decide they want it a different way. Then they want it that one way for a while. <laughs> yep. And so, yes, he's very particular on how the colors that he will wear. Yes. And... So, see, in the world of child whispering, when you know you have a type 4 more serious child, you might think you need to change all of that like it's just too serious for a four and a half year old. Yeah. Well, now it's so endearing. You look and go, that's so cute. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. And it's true. And he was that way. I noticed even as a baby, you know, mm -hmm. especially my type fours were probably the most, um, knew what they wanted to wear even as babies and happier. Mm -hmm. And this is what mm -hmm. I like to wear. And, mm -hmm. and I've now I've honor it. And I just like my six year old, she prefers zebra. That's what she wants to wear, zebra everything, and zebra and hot pinks. So I don't try to, inc I don't try to get her to wear yeah, other don't, things. Yeah, don't you notice that their own sense, their instinct for what movement in their clothing, that they come with that, and if given the chance, they'll choose it. Yeah. They'll choose what their preference is true to their, so children just come wanting to dress their truth. But yeah. then I'll see pretty classically, that if parents don't know dressing your truth or energy profiling, their children will be wearing what their type is. Yes, uh huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the type two little boys wearing the type four outfit because type four mommy Mom. yep. has that preference. Yeah, yep. And so I so, like it because I, 
I think it makes dressing more fun, especially with little yes. boys. It yes. has made people are like, oh, I wish I had a little girl because they're so fun to dress. And I'm like, my boys are a blast. Yeah, that's true. When you apply the dressing your truth principles to boys and girls, boy, you do have that um, enjoyment. Because we too, get with boys. Yeah, because he has the accessories. You know, he has his shoes and he's got his, his ties, his and, hats, <laughs> and his hats and and everything. And so. I have fun finding and searching out and getting the things yeah, for them that are great to their type. Well, your family's lovely, and it's been great to hear your experience with how you've known your children's types. Yep. Thank you for sharing that. And please share your com in the comments what you've learned about typing your children, especially from being pregnant with them, and were you accurate? What did you notice? If you weren't, what have you learned from that? And, and continue to add to this great conversation. Thanks for watching.